Okay, I got the light better now. Um, I had a couple people ask to see a more detailed video of the double door here. And, uh, I figured I'd do this real quick. Um, so this is my double door, my little concept trap. It's not 100% complete. But what it is, it's a, uh, double door guillotine, uh, with a wire conibear trigger in it. The doors can work independently. If I just want to use one door, I can just set one door down. I can use one door. I can run both, either or. Um, it's made of two by four horse panel. That's like 10 gauge panel. Ain't nothing going to break that. The doors are horse panel and half inch cold roll all the way framed up. Um, it is eight inches wide, 17 inches tall and was eight wide 17 tall and 34 long sorry my dogs want to play here but um each door independently locks i use angle iron angle iron for locks and when it slides down it catches down here uh when you use just a regular piece of metal it can undo itself uh the trigger I'm using what I call the Washington trigger. Them boys up there have came up with this trigger years ago and they use it on all their stuff. And you can find it if you Google beaver swim through traps, um, hump tulips and his boys over in Washington have been using this trigger. It's pretty simple though, but um, I cut a notch out. I have a tab coming from a door. I have a rod going through here that's hinging off of these nuts. Okay, um, I got a tab coming off here at a 90, tab coming off here at 90, it catches on the door tabs, and I have this main bar coming right here with a conner bear, and it's a 110 trigger right there, and the, the actual trigger right here, I replace it, it's just some welding wires I put in here, but that's the trigger mechanism, when that trips... That arm comes down, doors drop, and both doors drop. Again, just a little concept trap, but um, I think it should work. I've seen cat cages a lot smaller than this to catch. Let's see here. I got a spray paint can. I'm going to try and if I can get my dogs out the way. Try and trigger it with. I'll move now. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Uh, it's not powder or anything. It's just the doors are kind of heavy. See, both of them came down. Probably need to get a get some longer angle iron there, but positive lock, positive lock. Yeah, it's just a little one I've been messing with. Concept trap, just trying to get everything uh all the bugs out i'm probably going to put a stake ring here stake ring here so i can put my t-bars through it but uh yeah that's just uh it's an idea that's been bouncing around my head for a while i don't know if anybody else has made one like this i don't know if anybody else has used that trigger i don't know but uh somebody asked to see a more detailed video on it so uh here you go